maintain a muscle is basically three times as easy as building muscle and i'll tell you a story about one time i was in the change rooms and i'll tell you why i knew this guy was just chatting shit out of his ass because like i said building muscle is three times as hard as maintaining it but yeah as i was saying i was in the change rooms one day and this guy just walks in and he's like oh you must be new and i don't get me wrong he's a nice guy and everything but i don't mean to really be like rude or anything but come on like you can you can like smell you can smell the beer someone's chatting sometimes anyways he's like oh you must be new and i'm like yeah how, how often you been going gym and he goes oh you know i used to be shredded before like all of this stuff closed down and everything like you know what i'm talking about and then he goes after after the everything closing down and all of that oh i kind of got fat this and that i couldn't really maintain the muscle but then me in my head knowing that it's three times as easy to keep your muscle compared to building it was you know what i'm saying like like i said you're sharing bs and that's because let me get into the specifics of why that's because like i said muscle is a lot harder to build especially when you're more of a, more of an advanced lifter I'm about to cross the road real quick, I don't want to die, so I'll just stop speaking so I can at least like, look left and right. And you also might realise... <clears throat> you might realise that my hair is kind of uneven. And that's because when I was like cutting my own hair, I cut my own hair bro, I can't be asked to go pay £20 for like a haircut. But I cut my own hair and you can kind of see it's uneven because when I was cutting it, I accidentally changed the setting and it kind of went short on another side but it is what it is anyways yeah if you're if you're trying to maintain muscle and your gym is closed for whatever reason because i'll be gone like for a couple weeks now from where i live anyways i just be out and about in it like it's not even a holiday it's like some summer school thing and basically there won't be a gym around so i'll have to find a way to maintain muscle and maintaining like i said is three times as easy so for example say if you train six times a day I mean, six times a week all you have to do is train twice a week and that would just have to be full body because obviously you want to target every bit of your muscle and if you if you aren't like if you're not going to the gym or anything it's just a, it's a time or think of it as like some time to de-stress or deload because everyone's got pain somewhere so if you're for example like you've probably got pain in your knees or you've got probably pain in like i don't know your elbows or something so take it as a time to like deload and take some time off because when you come back to the gym you will realize how much you missed it and you will actually start to appreciate it because say if you hated the gym you're gonna like especially say if you say if you go in the mornings you're gonna realize how much more energy it gave you during the day and like skipping the gym in the morning you see like it will make you want to come back even if you hated it and you can also take this as a time or like as an opportunity to do more stuff with your life like because gym actually does take up a lot of time in your life so for example if you've been neglecting cardio go and do more cardio or stretching as well you know especially with bodybuilding if you're bodybuilding or you're just packing on a lot of muscle it's not really that it depends on the way you train as well but if you're not functionally training that muscle you're essentially just packing on mass for, for aesthetics because that's what bodybuilding is so if you try to go like if your back is feeling itchy or something and you go and try itch it you realize how like difficult it is to reach your back and that's because like i said you need to start stretching and Imagine if at like 17 or something, you can't even scratch your own back or something like, that's kind of, you know what I'm saying, it's a bit, you want, you want to be able to be flexible, especially at this age, because in the future, I'm sure your older self will thank you about it. And yeah, just take the time to, to do cardio as well. Like I said, if you've neglected it, say if you've got like a whole hour free now, or like another four hours, just go and do cardio. Like there's no excuse. You've got all of this free time, you should go do cardio, because if I were to say something, I wouldn't say weightlifting is the most important thing in the long run. I'll say cardio is so. Obviously, don't neglect your cardio. And yeah, hope this helps. Make sure you like and subscribe. And chat to you a lot later.